It has been more than two weeks since water flooded a San Francisco high-rise apartment building, displacing hundreds of people. And still, residents at 33 Tehama are left in limbo. They are not allowed to return to their homes until July 1st at the earliest. Crown Force Taylor Basaki checked in with one of those residents and brings us the latest. Every new day, like we either get contradicting information or we learn something new and then it's, you know, spun around. More than two weeks after Austin Caldwell was forced out of his home along with at least 500 other residents and 33 Tehama in San Francisco, not much has changed. Still currently staying in a hotel. Um, still no end in sight in terms of timeline, no communication in terms of timeline of, of what's to come. Caldwell says he and his partner have been bouncing around hotel rooms since June 3rd when water flooded and flushed out all of the people living at the Soma high rise. Since then, Heinz, the real estate development and management firm, says they determined the cause as a water main failure on the 35th floor, which serviced the fire sprinkler system. They say it led to 20,000 gallons of water cascading down the building. As they restore the apartments, Heinz says they've booked hotel rooms for residents and will reimburse for added expenses like food. They keep promising reimbursement for, for food and whatnot and, you know, a promise is just words until until it's action and um you know it's 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 become an enormous financial burden at this point caldwell says he and other residents have reached out to city leaders but haven't seen any action to solve the problem it's truly unfair that um you know like they're going to be the ones to hold heinz accountable for this and you know they they should be working for you know us as as citizens of san francisco and and they're not like it's just been almost it's been almost radio silence other than what's been responded to, you know, on 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 Twitter. Residents were originally told they'd be able to move back in by mid-June, but that date has since been pushed back to July 1st at the earliest. I'm Taylor Bisaki reporting Cron 4 News.